Sergeant Drake is a strange figure for me. I don't really remember him at all on the toy shelves. And even now, when I think of alien figures, I tend to forget about him. Well, not as much as O'Malley. Let's check out Sergeant Drake. Sergeant Drake is a strange figure. He can only have one position that doesn't look awkward. I'll explain as I go along. The front of the packaging has original artwork of Sergeant Drake shooting his smart gun. Sergeant Drake has blonde hair and headgear. He has a strap with gun ammo going across his chest with a pouch. He also has a strap with ammo going down his left side and it has a pouch on the back. He's wearing gloves and on his left arm, a shoulder pad. His right arm has an eagle with an X under it. This is most likely a tattoo, but it could be a scar. His right leg has two pouches and his left leg has a lousy knife. Sergeant Drake wears boots. There's a second variation of Sergeant Drake all in green with black accessories. He came in the Alien vs. Marine 2 pack with the second version of the Alien Arachnid. The gimmick for Sergeant Drake is that he makes gun sounds. Maybe not like that. First, we have to set him up. The back of the gun has a handle that goes into his right hand. After that is a waistband and then a large handle for his left hand. Turn the head to where you want him to look and twist his torso. This makes the figure make a clicking sound or rapid fire sound. His head also continues to face in the direction he started at, making him look like he's spraying bullets everywhere. Unfortunately, this accessory makes it so that Drake can't stand. At least for mine. His torso has to be turned to the other side in order for him to stand. One click off and he falls over. I think that the rapid fire gimmick is a little chintzy. Sergeant Drake's accessories include a large machine gun that is made from different colored plastics, a serrated bayonet, and a sticker sheet with 10 stickers. There are no instructions on where the stickers should go. The serrated bayonet can be attached to the smart gun. Sergeant Drake has six points of articulation, head, arms, waist, and legs. The waist is part of his gimmick. Let's check out his bio card. Sergeant Drake. Specialty, never defeated in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Home planet, detention planet 27. Request system. Background, born in captivity, he fought his way out to join the space marines at age 21. Quote, stay frosty marines and let it rock. The early Aliens figures came with a Dark Horse Aliens miniseries mini-comic. Sergeant Drake's comic is the fifth part. Number 5. Sergeant Drake. Meltdown. The Marines find Ripley's location in the treetop hive. Drake shoots the branch that the Alien and Ripley were on. Then the Marines attack the hive, which stirs up the Aliens. After killing the aliens, a queen shows up, but the marines are low on ammo. A pwn calls Bishop to show up with the evac vehicle. He captures the queen in the ship's capsule. Then he discards her in an opening in an active volcano. Looking around the area, the marines agree that they finish the aliens and travel to Earth Colony 3. After they leave, a Z-Van gorilla finds one egg and a face hugger jumps out at it. The Kenner alien Sergeant Drake figure gets two stars from me. He's not very good. The smart gun is cool. I love the accessory, but the fact that it's a pain to get him to stand, and he doesn't even look good when he's standing up. 
Oh, and then there's that chintzy effect. It's very, very lame. I hope you enjoyed this review of Kenner's Aliens, Sergeant Drake, and stay tuned for more Kenner reviews.